Whoa. Oh. <laughs> There's a pug. Ooh. <gasps> Adrian. <gasps> hey, it's Lizzie and welcome to my channel. Wait, something's wrong here, and this looks weird. I look like Adrian. Hold on. BRB, I'm gonna go be myself real quick. Hey, it's Lindsay Ray, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing DIY Snapchat Halloween costumes, and the reason I wanna do this is because if you are a curvy lady, like I am, sometimes Halloween costumes make you feel really sexualized, and these have nothing to do with your body. It's just your face and your hair, and people will recognize it. It's still really fun. I was inspired to do this video by RCL Beauty. We did the Snapchat filters last year, and they came out really, really good. So I'm going to attempt to make these on a budget. This whole costume lookbook DIY is all like under $30. And I gotta say, special thanks to the sponsors of this video, which is Shoptiker. Shoptiker is a really awesome free service that you can actually save and track your favorite clothing items. So down to the size, the color, what have it. And it tells you when it goes on sale so you can get it when it's the cheapest. Download Shop Tiger from the App Store or install the Chrome extension on your browser. I downloaded the app and it's super easy to sign up. You can even sign up with Facebook. Once you're in, open up Safari and go to your favorite stores. I went to Macy's, Zara, Madewell. And when you like something, click it and press share. Make sure to turn on the share options for our Shop to Girl in your settings on your phone. Once you do that, you can save it to Shoptiger and it will appear on your list right in your home screen. And guys, it literally is that easy. That is the best back to school life hack I've ever heard. You can share the items that you have saved on your wish list to your friends and family. And as soon as that happens, you will get a push notification or an email, your choice. And it's just really convenient. And plus there's no annoying ads, which are always on websites and they just, none of that. Shoo shoo, poo poo on you. So guys, go check out Shop to Girl. I have their link in the description bar below and let me know if you love it, cause I know you will. And I'm doing a huge giveaway right now. Today's the last day to enter, so make sure you do it right now before it hits midnight. Subscribe to this channel, check out the rest of the details for the rules below in the description. Like this video if you wanna see more DIYs and without further ado, let's get on to the video. All right guys, I'm going to be doing the Fox Filter. I got this child face painting kit because Yeah, let's hope that my face doesn't turn into a cherry red tomato from irritation. This is gonna look really aggressive All right, first I will apply the orange to my face and yep, here we go. Looks like it's here. Oh wow. Yep, that's orange That's really orange. Props to the $9 face painting kit because as Maddie just pointed out this is pigmented ass. Looks like it's also on the bridge of the nose, and it goes up into that little, like, circle thing. Am I looking like it yet? <laughs> Just me, your friendly neighborhood deer? Is it a deer or a fox? This whole time, I thought I was a fox. If I look down, all I see is orange. It looks like there are Cheetos on my cheeks. Cheetos on my cheeks, che Cheetos on my cheeks. Uh. This is my life now. I'm going to now move on to the white. All right, so there's white all on the nose. Oh, I just picked my nose with it. Oh, I just picked my nose with it. Oh, it's awkward. Now that that's done, I'm gonna put the white dots over the orange on my forehead. <laughs> Honestly. Hello, this is me, and I'm talking. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is the finished product. I actually added ears from the stuff I already had. I was able to do the whole look. I think it looks pretty cute. How many of you have seen DIYs from YouTubers that either cost way too much to make or just like unrealistic? So to me, this is pretty realistic. It's cheap, it's easy to do. There's not a lot of steps. And I love it, I think this is super cute. And everyone is gonna know who you are when they see this. So I went to Michael's and I got these like $2 plastic headbands and I got this array of gorgeous flowers. Basically what I'm gonna do is cut the flowers off, glue them the headband, and see if it looks like a flower crown. Let's do this. All right, here we go, first snip. Like a circumcision. <laughs> Ow, I just pinched my skin. All right guys, let's place these on the headband. First, actually before I place that, we should put the leaves, because the leaves are the most important part. All you're gonna need is this hot glue gun. It's like freaking trimming a Hanukkah bush. Except I'm not Jewish. Okay, that looks pretty leafy to me. Hold for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four. Should be perfect. Five, let's continue. Six, seven. I've only got one of these, so if I screw this one up. Eight, I'm really screwed. Nine, ten. This one was also like $3. 
Shut the f up. Did that really just happen? I got it. But like, how did that just happen? I'm so confused. <laughs> All right, this is pretty much looking like the best flower crown I've ever seen. You should have like looked at it an example of like what the flower crown one looks like. I did. Yeah, but yours kind of like sticking in the This looks great. What are you talking about? <laughs> Talking about. Ow. Ah! Burning I shouldn't be given a hot glue gun. This literally looks like a, fl like a flower crown. It does. Yay, I did it! All right, you guys, the moment of truth. The flower crown is officially dry, all the glue is good to go, and um, I've changed the lip to match more of the filter, so I'm a little nervous. I hope it looks good. Here we go. All right, you guys, I love it. I think it looks super legit. I didn't know what to expect when I decided to buy like really cheap headbands and just a bunch of flowers and leaves but I genuinely think this looks like the filter <laughs> For this next DIY, as you guys know, the butterflies are always coming from like both sides of their head and not on top so I got these clips from Michaels which are also like two dollars and I'm gonna put these glittery pumpkins on them but I'm gonna cut them into butterflies first because I couldn't find regular glitter to cut, so pumpkins it is. All right, so how to make a butterfly? Out of a pumpkin. <laughs> Do you wanna like trace it first? Kind of, yeah. So I'm gonna take this and use my scissors to outline um, a butterfly and then cut it, cause it's foam, so it kinda, it indents. Wow, what a, honestly it's not that big of a deal what it looks like, cause it's literally just gonna be like this gold shape on your head and people are gonna hopefully get it. Why does it look as promising as the flower crown? But uh, let's get these butterflies in our hair. <laughs> oh god, you're a mess. All right, you guys, this is the butterfly effect. I'm just gonna say, let's move on with our heads held high. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more DIYs and enter the giveaway that ends tonight. And guys, I love you. I will see you in the next video, which is gonna be a really big, fun, collabby video. <laughs> Happy Halloween! Woo!